Good morning, YouTubers. It's a beautiful sunny spring day and the project dude's at his next project. As you can see, it's gonna be fun. In fact, the only word that I can use to describe this project is going to be hot mess. It's uh, deteriorated to the point where it needs to be replaced. This particular door don't even have a drip cap over it. That's the reason why that uh, wood is destroyed or basically destroyed by water damage. In fact, this whole jam, well, not the jam itself, but the, the, the molding on the outside is going to have to be replaced. Um, and ironically, a lot of this damage could have been avoided by simply painting just a few cents of paint, painting the bottom of this brick mold when it was put up. So what happens is that this brick mold is probably pre-painted by before the uh, before it's put up. It's cut, put in place, and the bottom is a raw cut, which means there's nothing on it. And water wicks up through, and as it does, it destroys completely destroys this. Um, in fact, this whole door. Uh, you can see the seal which was originally uh, attached to the jam uh, is now completely um, removed from it. Uh, you can see that the jam itself is actually have rotted. And so you can see it on that side as well. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace, I'm gonna fix this seal. I'm gonna replace uh, part of the jam uh, and I'm gonna replace all this brick molding. I'm gonna replace this uh, light fixture because it looks Ratty, rusty, ratty. And uh, around on the garage side, you can see the exact same thing happened. Uh, in fact, if you just do this, you can see, pull the paint. I think the only thing holding this thing together is paint. You can see how much it's rotted. So all this is gonna be replaced. Uh, luckily there was a drip cap here. That just needs to be cleaned up and caulked. And then on this side here, uh, the exact same thing happened. So again, simply just by painting the cut edge that goes at the bottom of the the frame, um, all this work that I'm getting ready to do could have been avoided. All right, let's get started. here to get the angle of it when I cut the uh, new replacement. Woo! Hot mess. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, figure out how much of this jam I want to take off. I do not want to replace the whole jam. It's like a lot of work uh, when all I really need to do is uh, get rid of the uh, rotted wood find and cut it. Uh, the other side has a, uh, has a line that was created when uh, it, the wood it was feathered, uh, feathered in fingered in, actually I'm sorry, it's fingered in, and so I'm going to use that line, cut it off on both sides, uh, so that's next. Alright, as you can see, in order to uh, bring this uh, piece of concrete up level with the floor like it used to be. Um, I'm having to dig up around it, so I'm not really going to record that. Um, to watch me actually dig a hole 
would probably be entertaining to most of my friends, but uh, it's not really a content value, so I'll uh, get back when we get back uh, to having that level and start working on the door again. Okay, so as you can see now, I've uh, uh, brought the level of this uh, concrete pad. Um, I've actually found out where the water has come from to wash it out, so it looks like on the driveway right next to the garage, there is a very big hole, very big dip. It's like water could run right through there under this other pad and wash it out completely. So um, I've uh, brought that up to level. I've, I've left a little bit of slope on it just so the water will run off. Um, and now I'm in the process, I'm going to rebuild uh, the, the seal. Um, the wood underneath the seal had rotted out, so I'm, I'm actually trying to replace that and rebuild the seal. And then I'm going to start right now um, uh, cutting the, the pieces of pieces for the jam to uh, sister onto this on both sides. I've uh, cut it back to where the, the good wood starts. I got rid of the rotten wood, so now I'm going to sister on, and uh, I'll be back with it. Okay, so now I'm ready to. Uh measure uh, the bottom of the jams both sides where the rotten wood was. I've cut it off, I'm going to replace it. So that's what I'm getting ready to do and we'll try to do it in time lapse so it won't be so boring. Be right back with you. Project is about kick my butt. Project is about kick my butt. Project is about kick my butt. Okay, so now the project dude will have to admit that this project has kicked his butt. But I have got it to a good point, so I can stop for the day. As you can tell, the lights a lot uh, it's a lot darker. Um, but uh, in reality, um, I got a lot done. So I got the, the jam, part of the both, both sides of the jam on, um, glued, nailed. Uh, tomorrow I'll putty and sand, and then part of it will get painted uh, when I put the uh, brick molding outside. Um, rebuilt the seal. The seal is actually doing look very strong, uh, very solid. Uh, I've uh, basically just glued it now so I'm gonna let it dry overnight and if I'm not comfortable with that then I'll do some Tapcon screws uh, just to make sure it's solid but uh, and then of course as you can tell I've raised the the concrete pad so this is it for me today I'll be back tomorrow Great day, great morning for the project dude. Uh, this project again, it's a hot mess. Uh, you've already seen me um, work on the outside trim that had rotted uh, because of uh, one little unpainted area at the bottom of the molding. Uh, it allowed the water to wick up and so that's the reason why there was so much rot. Uh, we'll get back to that. Uh, that's something we'll do later on today. Uh, but uh, the other thing that I'm doing is uh, this. So I'll move out of the way and let me see if I can adjust the camera here. Uh, this is of course a water softener. So and you can see that it is some beautiful work. Beautiful. Um, as I move in, it's my apt camera skills, um, where the the line coming straight up from the bottom right here right there 
is the uh, water line coming into the house, main water line coming into the house. Um, and so uh, it looked like they, uh, it was tapped into uh, the water line. The rest of the water line goes up to the house, but it looks like it was tapped into to add this water softener. Um, evidently the um, house was put in when it was a uh, well system and the water softener was used to um, uh, was used to m make the water a little bit easier better to come on cameraman get it right buddy okay still not right you can tell I'm, I've spent a lot of years doing this a lot of practice alright so uh, but you can tell it was kind of jury rigged um, it wasn't exactly uh, so what I'm going to do is, and I'm going to do it on fast mode, not my fast mode, but the camera's fast mode. I'm just going to take and uh, cut in, a, cut, a, cut it away, and add a piece uh, of a pipe to continue the straight line and to get the water softener off because that's going in the that's that's being thrown away. So anyway, that's what I'm going to do right now. Uh, enjoy. Okay, so the project dude is uh, finished with this task. I just want to show you that uh, this is the water meter coming into the coming into the house. Uh, cut off valve and it goes up. You can see where I made my first uh, uh, connection, and then go up where I made my second connection. And really, the only thing that I need left to do uh, with this is to um, that wire there actually goes to a outside reader. Uh, because that way people can actually read your water meter from the outside and not have to come in the house when you're probably in your, you know, you know, bath or whatever. So it's uh, it's it's the one feature I want to be careful and not to cut. And I do need to take some wire, um, some wire straps and make sure I, I strap that back on. The other thing I'm going to do is uh, take out this uh, uh, the green line as actually a a drain line uh, for the overflow for the water softener. I'll take that out and then the power uh, that went to uh, the water softener is there. I'll take that out and then I'll be finished and be ready to move on to the next project or complete the next project. Still a bunch of hot mess. Okay so now I'm down to the last uh, little bit. I'm going to uh, sand the frame uh, and the jam. I'm going to uh, caulk and then I'm going to paint once the caulk dries and uh, replace the brick molding and uh, we should be ready to go. So I'm going to do this in time lapse as usual. Just a little bit more left of this uh, hot mess. <laughs> I promised that every video I would share a quote, something thought-provoking. This video's quote of the day is from Albert Einstein, genius, world's greatest physicist. He developed the theory of relativity and he said, everything that exists in your life does so because of two things, something you do or did or something you didn't do. Well, spring has sprung and the project dude is finally done. As you can see, I've uh, replaced all the brick molding around, caulked, painted. Several pieces I replaced because of uh, the rotting. In fact, I've even scabbed on one little piece on this side here because of the rotting as well. So the garage is done. I was originally thinking about replacing the uh, 
weather stripping around the door, but it just really needs to be clean more than anything else. So we go around the corner. This is a garage going into the garage doors. You can see also brake molding has been replaced. Brake molding has been replaced as well as a drip cap has been put over the uh, to stop uh, that rotting from above like it was before and and now the seal is strong solid and the door closes without any gaps as well as I actually replaced that little light right there too project dude is done Thank you for watching. God bless.